Hi everyone and welcome to another weekly theme. I'm Sarah, an intern at Blue Ocean Society, where our mission is to protect marine life in the Gulf of Maine through research, education, and inspiring action. This week, I'll be teaching you all about camouflage. Camouflage is when an animal's natural color looks like its surroundings. Animals use camouflage to blend in to their environment. It is a form of visual disguise. Camouflage is also used as a defense mechanism to hide from predators or even sneak up on their prey. Without it, an animal would be seen more easily and would have a harder time hiding. There are two different types of camouflage, background matching and disruptive coloration. Background matching is the most common type. This occurs when an animal blends in with their environment. These animals are all earth toned colors. We'll go into some more examples of this later. There is also disruptive coloration. These animals are disguised through their color pattern. Their color pattern causes visual disruption because the pattern does not match the animal's body shape and size, making them unrecognizable. Zebras are a great example of this. When they are running together, their contrasting stripes mix together. This makes it hard for the lion to see any one individual. So why do animals use camouflage? Animals camouflage for many different reasons. Three being as a response to a threat, hiding from predators, or even as a form of communication. Camouflage is achieved via two mechanisms, pigments and physical structures. Some species have microscopic physical features. These structures act like a prism. They reflect light, producing a color that is different from their own. Polar bears are an example of this. Polar bears appear to be white, however, their skin is actually black. Their translucent or almost clear fur reflects sunlight and snow, making them appear to be white. Other species use pigments. These animals have microscopic pigments known as biochromes. These biochromes absorb a certain wavelength of light and reflect a different one, causing the animal to change colors. Octopi, such as the Northeast Canyon's octopus as seen here, use biochromes, allowing them to change their color and pattern. Whales also use camouflage. Beluga whales, for example, are white, camouflaging with the snow and ice in their Arctic habitat. This protects them from predators. Additionally, beluga whales are born gray and become white as they get older. This allows them to blend in with their mother's shadow, protecting them further. Belugas aren't the only whales that use camouflage. The Gulf of Maine's own humpback whale does as well. Here at Blue Ocean Society, we research humpback whales along with other marine life. Humpback whales use camouflage through a process called countershading. Countershading is used by many species. These animals have darker skin or fur on the surface of their bodies that is facing the sun, and the opposite side is lighter in color. This is seen on the humpback. Their bellies are light, while their backs are darker in color. This enhances visual camouflage, counteracting the sunlight and making the animal harder to see. When the whale is viewed from above, their dark back blends in with the water. When the animal is viewed from below, their white belly blends in with the sun. This makes it hard for the humpback's predators, such as orca whales, sharks, and even humans, or their prey, small fish, including mackerel, herring, or sand lance, to detect the whale. So some questions to think about throughout the week. How do animals camouflage? Why do animals camouflage? And what other animals use camouflage? Be sure to check out our Blue Ocean Society blog for updates on games and activities throughout the week. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week.